Hello friends, I'm so glad you could join me today. I have a beautiful uh, Valentine's Day card or a romantic card and I'm using some pattern paper that I have. It's the Simple Stories My Valentine collection um, and I'm just going to be using some of those items there that you see from that collection and also um, I cut out several different pieces with my dies that you see there in the background and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, I also have these beautiful gold heart stickers from Elizabeth Craft Designs that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the outline heart stickers on this project. And um, the beautiful uh, roses paper that I have here, I use the Hero Arts Infinity postage stamp nested dies. And this is a Simon Says Stamp frames die. It creates that beautiful little delicate frame. I love that frame. And then this is a banner die from scrapbook.com. And that's like a frosted vellum from uh, Paper Junkie on Amazon. I'm using some green cardstock and some alabaster cardstock. The green cardstock is four inches by five and a quarter, and the card base is an A2 sized. And the alabaster card base comes from Spellbinders. It's their Color Essentials cardstock. And that green cardstock is just some that I had in my supplies. So. I'm not sure exactly what it is or where it came from, but I thought it matched the leaves in that rose paper beautifully, so that's why I used it. Now I'm just going to use some Tombow Mono Adhesive here on this frame, and this is a very delicate frame. It, this is not a easy task to attach it because it it does uh, it'll lose its shape easily if you're not careful, and when you're using liquid glue it sticks to the paper and it's kind of difficult but um, I pulled it off <laughs> if anyone has any good ideas for how to do this better than what I'm doing here please leave it in the comments below now I'm just going to go ahead and try to straighten that as best I can and I'm happy with the result so now I'm gonna attach the beautiful rose pattern paper in the center of that and then I'll be ready to put on that banner. Now I do change my mind with this banner. I actually cut one that's a little bit smaller later on, but I'm just gonna use some vellum uh, tape right at the top there, and you can't even see it, but I do decide to go ahead and cover it up with a gold um, sticker later. And then I change my mind on that as well and use some holographic uh, glitter uh, sticker, not holographic, iridescent glitter stickers. So you'll see all that in a moment. But right now I'm just fussy cutting this butterfly and that's going to go um, on the base of my card right where that other butterfly is. It's going to cover it up. But it gives it some dimension because I'm going to pop up the wings. And then I will cut out, I don't know why I did this because I realized that the antennas are on the printed paper. So I just cut those off. So I'm only going to put glue right there in the center of the butterfly because I want to prop the wings up. And I did the same thing with the second butterfly. But before I attach it, I wanted to go ahead and cut this gold sticker sheet so that I would have a little bit of a border for that banner. And I just did this for decoration. I thought it kind of um, added something to that border, uh, to that banner there. But I changed my mind after I did this and, and uh, decided to go with something a little bit different, which you will see in a moment. I just love those butterflies. They're so dainty and beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this love you sign there. Okay, so you can see here what I did. I have um, two hearts from those heart stickers there and I do decide to take off that solid heart. And in a moment you're gonna see uh, what I did. So I just cut a smaller border and then I used two of the outline hearts um, on the banner and the love you. And then I don't know if you can see it very well, but there is some iridescent glitter peel off stickers um, at the top instead of that gold. So that's, that's all I did. These are, so here's the old one with the gold at the top. And I cut a smaller banner and just put this iridescent uh, border sticker right there. So I love that. I think it's very beautiful and feminine looking. This would be a perfect card for a wife or someone that you love. So thanks for joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like and a subscription if you did. And I hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.